So welcome to Bunny's Designs. I've uh, had a bit of a spend and I've bought the Derwent graphic colour set. And they're basically, it says they're a water-based pigment painter. So I would, I've been watching a few videos on the, on the Derwent website. They all come individually wrapped in plastic which I find quite hard with my hands so I've used a bit of a scalpel and if you cut down the handle there you're not going to do any damage with a blade and then that's the easiest way because it says twist and pull but no, I couldn't do that so they've all got unusual names and they're basically like a liner pen and I must admit, as a tight Yorkshire lass, I do like things that are refillable. But, um, <coughs> just put my blade away in the soft eraser. So I bought the graphic liners, they're in sepia, because I love painting in, in, in brown ink, and some black liners, but my daughter's at uni doing... Um, uh, she's doing her degree in illustration and animation so I'm going to take a couple and then I'm going to pass them on to her because I do prefer my rotoring I still prefer to draw like that but I've got a bit of a problem you you have to keep it vertical and at the moment my hands won't do that so I thought I would invest in some pens that I can use on the side so I do like my other ones um, so that was one of my purchases and I also bought some Derwent um, water brushes as well because I like water brushes. <clears throat> they're very easy and they're easy to use. But when you're kind of uh, using them on a colour book, they can be a bit wet. These are the driest ones I've found. The number one is the driest. So it means that I'm not going to make a mess of my colour books with having lots of water pu pu pulling out. So I thought that'd be quite nice with these. So I was going to have a play with these. Um, so they come in this little box and there was and they're called line line painters and there's all sorts of things you can do with them you can flood a piece of work and blow and have splatter uh, you can wet a piece and it will flood like you do with watercolours. Um, I think it's like a watercolour but it's in a marker set. It's in a marker pen. Um, if you hold it down a lot it, it will flood out and you'll get lots of colour. So you can do lots of things with it. Uh, basically, if I open this up, if I open this up here, It shows you that you can draw with them, you can flood colours in them, you can mix them together, you can splatter, you can splash, you can do all sorts of things with them. Um, the pens need to be activa activated before use. You can draw some lines, fill, col fill solid colour. They're really opaque, it says. They feel like ink flow. If you pump the pen, you will flood the nib sometimes this is cool you can blow into ink to make splats if you blow across the nib heavy with ink you can spray color uh, try working contrasting colors over the top whilst your paint is wet you can add water to dilute it so it becomes a water with a water brush it becomes like a watercolor and most important you can have fun and experiment so that's what it says you can do but if you go on the website, uh, there's uh, about four videos that tell you all different things you can do with them. <clears throat> so as I say, they come in this little um, this little pen set. Now I don't know if I've got that sat right. I think that's it. That's how you have it. So you can just pull them out. So it sits like this. So you could put your don't water brushes. So I intend to use these water brushes. Now I do have two that I use all the time, but it's quite dirty. So I thought with these new colours, 
I'd get some new ones so um, they're a little bit expensive for these but they're the best ones for dryness and they have a really good top so that's the little fat wedge number three that's number two which is kind of it's high, it's stiff because obviously it hasn't got any water in it <coughs> this is the one I like for water brush for for color books it's very thin and so it's really good for doing color work and if you keep drying it on a on a kitchen paper it takes a lot of the water out it works quite well so you're not flooding your color books at all so welcome to bunny's designs this is a live stream recorded for ustream.tv and also youtube for people to watch at their leisure i'm having a bit of a play with my new products that I've bought. I've got, gone a bit wild but um, there are one or two things I wanted. Um, I bought these Derwent liners for colouring books. I've also bought some gouache uh, which I want to play with my colours. I bought a new one of these for the gouache so that's going to have its own little separate home. And then I bought the Derwent graphic, graphic line markers so these look slightly different these are just like a marker and there's a sepia uh, like a brown one and there's uh, two for the six in there but I have bought some for my daughter I'll probably take one of each out and then let her have a few for her work at college because she's at uni doing uh, illustrations so of course these will be fantastic for her oh yes I've seen that uh, Suzanne says um, Derwent have a, has a chalk scraper because the other thing I've bought um, if I say I've gone a bit mad is I bought um, <coughs> the Derwent pa oil pastels uh, and I did a video earlier on this which is um, a little colour swatch it tells you what the colours are in the lid but they're not labelled so I had a bit of a play and then I I smudged them with English distilled terps which is an old bottle that I found kicking about you're probably better with um, Odalus and my other purchase of the day oh yesterday but uh, today is the Derwent pastels so I'm going to use those like I use the ink tense blocks. So they look, they should be quite good. And this is all to have a play tomorrow. So I want to keep these quite safe because they will break if you drop them. So <coughs> So as I understand it with these you've got to pump the colour out but they've all got wonderful names so this is called Brick Road because of course Yellow Brick Road um, we've got Clockwork Clockwork Orange so somebody has a worky sense of humour we've got Tom is that for tomato Tom? Red Tom, not quite sure about that one. Um, herring is for red herring, and you can see the bubbles. Can you see the bubbles that I've just done there? Something was moving. So it's basically liquid paint inside. This one's called Blood Red, and I would think that that's the colour of blood. This one's called Billy, which is like a, a turquoisey green. Um, high, blue high, high blue, sky high blue. This one's brilliant, brilliant blue, presumably. And we have rain, the purple rain. Tickled pink. Bear with me two seconds. My laptop's going to go dead. Bear with me two seconds.
sorry about that. <coughs> My husband had plugged them in and <laughs> one of the plugs wasn't in properly. Right, where did I get to? <coughs> Excuse me. We got to Paradise. Paradise Blue. Minted, which is obviously a mint colour. So they're all wacky names. Envy, green with envy. Green fingers, because that's a lime green. Brick lane, a red brick, presumably. And we have jungle grey, graphite grey. They've got little holes that they sit in. Got to get them right in the holes. Back. Magic for black magic. Snow is white. And fox is for silver fox. So presumably that's the silver one. <coughs> so it says somebody said you had to. So we've got. Fluid, opaque paint, strong, immense depth of colour, creates layers, dribbles and washes. Soup 0.5 Jap Japan nib, permanent water-based paints. Um, so that's quite good. So what we do is you shake it, you hold the nib down, and then when it floods, you put the top on it. You have to put the tops on. You have to store them horizontal. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's have my sketchbook. So I did a little bit of a sketch yesterday, first time for a long time, and sketched a couple of really rough sketches. Then I had a bit of a play with my my daughter. I want to make that into a, a fairy watercolour. So I think what we do is you do this and then you hold that down until you see it, until you see the colour. Oops, there it is. And then you can kind of draw with them. So we've got. I've got a dribble there, look, so is that the number one? So number three. So I have every paintbrush but the one I want. So this is my my paintbrush. So once you've gone over them then you can't move them about. But you can <coughs> while they're wet. And you can manoeuvre them round quite a lot. So they're quite well behaved actually. Quite nice colours. Let me have a baby wipe. that and it seems to go quite nice. So this is my old one. <coughs> so we've got that colour. Let me have a look at another one. So you shake it and then you hold it down and you can see the colour arrive here. can see that colour now so I can just draw with it and it becomes just a fine line pen 
and then I can take that colour in and I can manoeuvre that around or I can just draw with it so it becomes like a marker but it has that bit more colour to it vibrant colour so again I can I can do what I normally do is is put a little bit of colour somewhere and then manipulate it around now this is quite thin sketchbook paper but it's not too bad clean the brush off again must make sure you put the lids on otherwise they will dry out and you will never get your colour out <coughs> it down and then you can normally see it come through. Now he just held it down, everybody else said you had to pump it, it's there straight away so um, lots and lots of colour and of course the stronger colour we're getting so they are really nice to work with so you can either do that or you can fill out to be full colour or just a bit of colour so you're in control of the flow so they are actually quite nice and the beautiful colours love the colours see the colour come out so if you're very very quick you can do that so again we'll put that like this a little bit extra colour there and then we'll wet that to manoeuvre that about you can see the colour uh, so this is is blood red this one this is a really dark colour so you've got a pinky red and we've got a purple <coughs> a warm red And you've just got to make sure you put the lids on. I've not really never been into very strong um, markers, but um, so you take the brush and kind to move that about a bit. So you've got to be fairly quick. Um, or you can put colour in and then manoeuvre it about so again that works quite nice and it, it, it does move about really nice it's a continuous flow well if you're in contact with that so that's quite nice
quickly in the brush. Again, you're not wasting much, so again, I like that. Make sure the lid's on. Sometimes you get a blob, <laughs> but you get used to that. You would get used to that. And what they meant was. <laughs> you could do the old fashioned straw. <laughs> The old fashioned straw. I seem to have got too much out there, so I don't like that. The purple seems to be a little bit st struggling. me. seem to have wasted a lot of paint there. It's not happy the purple one. But I think that's just the way I did this one. I, I, read, I did it slightly differently than I did the other one. So it didn't like it. There's all sorts of things you can do with them that... <coughs> oh, thank you, Karen. I'm just having a play. <laughs> it was going to be my my design, but... Um, but you can see the colour coming, and I'm trying to stop it before it floods. That's what I was trying to do. So when you hold it down, you can see, you can see the colour coming. So if you stop it, it's perfectly all right, but the purple one didn't do that. And then you can put that colour there and then use your water brush. Just turn that up. Um, but once it's dried, you can't do that. So you've got to do it while it's kind of okay. So you can put a lot of colour in there and then you can play about with them. Which is quite nice. I mean this is just a sketchbook paper. The purple you can just take, as long as it's, well, if it's wet you can do what you want with it so it's got a good colour range. best to stop as soon as you don't want to flood all this that's what I did and it didn't like it so, so again a little bit of colour here and there so you've got quite a lot of versatility and you can also draw with them as well so that's quite nice oh, I can't believe today there is another person outside So we could have a bark alert, everybody. I do apologise in advance. So you hold it for about five, six se seconds, and then when you push it down, you can 
you can see the colour. As soon as you see it colour, you see I didn't even make a mark, you stop. So that's the best thing to do. So there's some really nice bright colours and really nice with a water brush. You can push that colour around, so that's quite good. And if I continue talking, which might be rather annoying, Alfie is not going to hear the gate. So we should be okay. So there's some really bright colours. see it, the colour flood in so again, different coloured um, so this might be quite good because the other thing I need to do which I might do tomorrow is <clears throat> I actually need to make I think I need to make a name stand You hold it down so you can see the colour. As soon as you see it, you lift it up. pump it down once and then I just hold it and you can watch the end of the nib and as soon as the end of the nib turns colour you lift it up and that gives you the perfect amount <coughs> and then you can just kind of manipulate this so you get some good colour it's just good colour and said too much because that other man said you do that so I just hold it down and watch the colour as soon as it appears you lift up so that one is green fingers it's a very light green that one. So I've nearly finished all the colours now. You can see the colour appearing. So the little white little white dot appears and instantly turns colour. You've got to be quick to do that. So I think it said they were permanent so they're a bit like the ink tents. Once they're done, yeah, you can't move them you see. Once they're done, they're done. My laptop keeps playing up. So you can see the nib. I think this one is jungle. It looks a bit silvery to me. Silver grey. Yep, see. So if I zoom in, you can see what I'm doing. So I 
shake it and there's a white nib. So if you can see the nib, you just hold the nib down so you don't pump up and down. Oh well, maybe do it twice. And there's the colour. Oopsie. And then you could just move that about. So it depends if you want a solid colour or want a light colour. Well, this is answered too much. Because when you first go on, it says, oh, you pump it, but you, I d I've watch somebody else so you don't pump it because if you pump too much you get your flood and I didn't really want to flood I wanted a controlled amount um, don't know if that's the black but it's it's not a black black it's a warm black because if you keep pumping like that you see you can end up with a flood of colour and I don't want a flood of colour you can just see it very carefully flowing into there. Whoopsie. Can move that. <coughs> Clean that baby wipe. So I need to get rid of that baby wipe, I think, because it's got purple on it. So I've wasted a lot of purple, but that's because I wasn't watching what I was doing and I flooded it, which was a bit silly, but it's only a practice. And then the last one is fox, so it's like silver fox. So you hold it down once and then just hold it down gently and you can see the colour arriving. So that one is a silver. That, is a, so that would be quite nice as an outliner. That silver would be nice as an outliner. It's got a silver thing to it. So some really vibrant colours. Quite nice to use, so that's going to be fun. Um, I think they probably do slightly better in I can't find my small I'm kind of blending them into two colours. You see the yellow one's dried. The yellow one dried underneath. So they do dry. Whoopsie. And once they dry the set, so you can draw over the top of them. So that's kind of different and strange. If we say they're different and strange, but I like the colours. I like all the colours. They're all kind of really good, and. Um, so first little play with them and setting them up it's just the purple that I messed up but that was me because I flooded it and that's what it says you can flood them if you want and blow and do all sorts of other things otherwise they're quite nice to use um, just as a simple marker quite like the idea of the silver one and then filling that one in so that's my my new babies. Oopsie. And my graphic tint. Sorry, my graphic. I like the box as well. It's quite a nice box actually. So thanks for watching. <laughs>